Good morning! Happy Monday! My name is Miss Amanda. I teach preschool Sunday school at St. Mark Luther and Church here in NT. Every weekday we get together, we sing a song, we read a story, and we say a prayer. If you have any specific prayer requests, please leave them on our website, stmarknt.org. We would love to pray for you. We do get together with our friend Bubba, and I do need your help waking him up. I know you know how to do it. On three. One, two, three. Good morning, Bubba! Good morning, Miss Amanda. How are you today? Good morning, Bubba. I'm doing excellent. I hear there's something super special happening today. That's right. It is my birthday! Woo! Yeah, party! Woo! Happy birthday, Bubba! Well, thank you. You're so welcome. Guys, you want to help me sing Bubba Happy Birthday? Aw, shucks. I think they really do, Bubba. Okay, I'm not going to stop ya. Alright, ready friends? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bubba. Happy birthday to you. Wow, guys, you were so loud. I could hear you all the way over here. Great job! Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you. I turned a whole eight years old. Wow, Bubba, you're getting up there. Yeah, I know. Soon I'm going to need glasses and a walker. You're getting yep, so I'm big. Yep, I'm turning into an old man. You're getting so big, Bubba. Yeah. So, other than that being, uh, being so young, I'm getting so, so big. You are getting so big. Yep. It's kind of a big deal. I'm as big as my mom, I'm as big as my dad, and I'm as big as my elephant. Uh, I don't know about that, Bubba. Well, I'm the, I'm eight, so I'm so big. I'm so smart. I can do anything. I'm sure that you're very smart, but you know that that's not true because you are getting bigger, and that's wonderful. But remember that you're not the biggest because God is the biggest. He is? Yeah. And today we're going to learn about some people that thought that they were the biggest. They thought that they could build the tallest tower. Instead, God showed them that they weren't the biggest. Let's read it from our Bible. And All right. Our friends at home can find this story in the book of Genesis chapter 11. It's called The Tall Tower. After the flood, everyone spoke the same language. One word meant hello. One word meant mom. And one word meant dad. The people said, if we work together, Let's build a tower that goes all the way up to heaven. Then everyone will see how great we are. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Should we be trying to tell people how great we are? Well, sometimes it happens, but I know we want to be humble. We want to tell people how great God is, right? Yeah. Yeah. The people worked on their tower. They built it taller and taller. They began to brag. God did not like the way they were acting. It was as if they no longer needed him. So God mixed up their language. When they tried to talk to each other, it sounded like babble. Everyone was confused. Oh, man. I wonder if we have any friends at home who have any brothers or sisters that talk in babble. Or a different language. Or a different language, but maybe they are like babies and they talk in babble. Yeah. Then God scattered the people all over the earth. They had to stop building their tower. From then on, the tower was called Babel. So in our story, we learned that the people were trying to make themselves great. And sometimes that happens here on earth too, right? Where we try to be the 
best. And it's, it's good to try to be the best sometimes, but we want to make sure that whatever we're doing, we're pointing people to Jesus yeah. instead of to us. Yep. So even when we tell stories or when we do things, we want to make sure that we're working for God and to show his greatness because when we're weak, then he is strong. So we can do things that would point others to Jesus in the way that we act or speak, right? Yep. Yeah. And how do we do that? How do we do what? Point people to Jesus with how we act or speak. By being humble and kind? That's right. By being humble and by pointing others to Jesus in the way that we speak. So you can't just be like, hey, take a left, take a right, take a left, and then there's Jesus. You have to have actions of kindness that come from what you learn in the Bible, right? That's right. Yeah. We act kind from what we learn in the Bible. And then if someone says, wow, you're so kind, we can say, and they hey, say, Jesus taught me how to do that. That's right. We say, thank you. It's because Jesus was first kind to me. Yeah. Right. All right. So I encourage you guys at home to be kind and humble to the people that you are encountering and to encourage them to speak to Jesus and to learn from him directly. Um, we would love to hear how you're doing that through our website so that we can keep a tally of that for our next live that's coming up in just a couple weeks. Yeah. Yep. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe to the video, but we're gonna say a prayer. So, yep. bye -bye. Make sure you press that subscribe button right down over there. Press that button, subscribe. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. You have any special birthday wishes for your prayers today? I would really like for the Bills to go to the Super Bowl. Did you see there's going to be five games that are in prime time? Yeah. That's a big deal. Ah, uh, yeah. We are uh, doing great. Go Bills. Okay. That's all. Okay. Yeah. If you guys have any prayer requests that you want to see Bubba say, please submit those on our website, stmarknt.org. Alright, let's say our prayers. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for giving us clarity through your word. And thank you for giving us the ability to be kind to others. Please give us the strength to do so. And Lord, please help us to turn people to you. When they try and look at us, help us to show them your light and your love and your grace. Lord, we thank you for birthdays and we celebrate those today. Um, and we just ask that you would be with everyone who is going through something difficult today. Um, we would like to lift up our pastor and his family. Um, we lift up the healthcare workers. And we lift up any of the essential workers that are currently working so that we can stay home and stay safe. We ask that you would keep us all safe and healthy. Thank you so much for our friends that are watching at home and the technology to be able to do this. We love you so much. Thank you for loving us first. It's in your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks so much for being here, Bubba. No problem. It's always good to be here. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.